What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are looking at Power Automate. We're going to take a look at the CDS current environment connector, and we're going to look at the action which is perform a bound action. So a bound action inside of CDS or Dynamics is a an action that is tied to a single entity, so a specific entity. But the what an action is itself is it's a way to perform an act, perform something. So perform an action, perform something. So you could have uh, maybe some logical operators in there to say if this then this, um, and then do do something based off of that. Now that kind of sounds like a bit of a workflow. It kind of sounds a little bit like Power Automate, but actions allow you to do specific things. So there are a bunch of system actions that allow you to do specialized things that you can't do in workflows usually. So things like, um, you know, winning an opportunity, uh, winning a quote, that sort of thing, um, thing or, or qualifying a lead. These things aren't things you tend to do through a workflow, but there is an action that allows you to do it because it's kind of like a system operating thing. However, you can actually do this with custom code as well. So you could have an action that um, that triggers a plugin. So you could say, right, if this happens, then um, then I want to trigger this plugin to then maybe do this recalculation or something like that. So you can have custom actions in there that do a custom piece of code. So let's take a look at a, uh, a bound action today. So I'm in Power Automate here. Um, I'm in I'm in a solution. I'm in a solution, so I've got access to my CDS current environment connector, and I've got a trigger here that I won't really be using. I'm just going to run a test because we're not going to really be using any data relating to this. I'm going to click on new step. Then we're going to type into the search box common data uh, service, and then the second one that pops up here, the common data service current environment, is the one we want to use. So if you scroll down, there is perform, perform a bound action here. So we click on this, and we have three inputs that we need to put in. So we have an entity name, action name, and ID. So the entity name is the entity where this action is going to be performed. The action name is the action that's inside of the CDS already. Um, so if you are from a Dynamics background, um, some of these things might be familiar to you. If you're not, then um, you need to actually go in and set up your action inside of Dynamics first to be able to use it. And item ID is the item that you're going to run this action on. So <coughs> let's take a look. So we'll um, choose this and then we'll choose quotes because I know there is a quote uh, bound action. Then the action name. This gives me a list of just the action names that are relating to this entity. So the only one that is available is get quote products from opportunity. So we click on that one. Uh, and then we need an item ID. So as I've clicked that one, you actually see that it's expanded the list of things down here. So these are things that I may need to populate or um, things that are, are coming through. So some actions will give you parameters that you have to populate. Some actions will give you uh, parameters that you will get back after you do something. So this action specifically, what this does is this looks at a quote and it will get the quote products from the opportunity. So let's take a look at this. I'll flick over to Dynamics for a second. So this is a test opportunity that I've got here. And if I click over to products, there are no products currently in this opportunity. If I go to quotes and click new quote, then I get a new quote created and you'll notice that there are no products in it. Now, when you create a quote from an opportunity, what it will do is it will take the products that are on the opportunity and put them into a quote. However, if you update those products, it doesn't update the quote. You, those are two separate records. So only on create of a quote does it do that pull to then go and get the opportunity products and bring them into here. So that is an action. So it does that pull and brings them into here. But I've currently created a quote with no uh, products on it. And I may, I may need to go and get those products on the opportunity. So first thing I'll do, I'm just going to use level up uh, and get the record ID. So that's a cool tool. Thank you. And we'll paste that into the item ID there because this is going to run on the quote. Next, we're going to go back to the opportunity. 
So we're back on the opportunity now, and we'll go and we'll add a couple of products to the opportunity. So we'll add some uh, apples and bananas. I will add four of those. Uh, we'll add, oh, we definitely need 10 iron brews and haggis. Uh, I'll take two pineapples and pizza. Uh, and we'll take four stretch shortbread. And we'll add all these to the opportunity. So these are now all on the opportunity. So the opportunity has these items. Uh, we can see that um, it's updated with some costings and some total amounts. But if I go back to the quote, this is not updated because we created this quote after we created the opportunity. So if I go back to the opportunity for a second, and if I create a new quote now, once the swing finishes, we can see this quote creates with all of the all the products on, but that first one doesn't. So if I go back, I'm just going to delete this one for now. Delete. And the next thing we need is we actually need the opportunity ID. So again, I'm on the opportunity using level up, get that record ID, and we're gonna put that in down here once I find opportunity ID. Uh, uh, opportunity ID, there we go. So this is not a required field in Power Automate, but I know that this action requires this field to be filled in to actually work. Because what it's gonna do is it's gonna look up to the opportunity and then it's going to pull those um, pull those quote products from the opportunity onto this quote ID. Now, you may think, well, I could, why is it not pulling it from the opportunity that we that it's set to? I don't really know. It's just how the action works. You need to populate in the uh, opportunity ID and you also need to populate in the, the quote and everything else. So uh, this action, get quote from products, what I'll do is we'll test it. It should go up to the opportunity. It should pull the products down onto the quote. So let's test. So I'm just gonna run a test and I'm just gonna run from a test I previously run because all we're doing is just triggering it. We don't need to uh, pass any, any data into it. So all we're doing is triggering it and then it's going to go to that quote. It's going to look at the opportunity and it's gonna pull down the quotes quote products or the opportunity products from that quote to the opportunity. And we just need to sit here and wait for it to start. There we go, it's running. And it's finished. And we can see it's finished. So if I go back to the opportunity now, got this quote here. It was in draft, it, it had uh, no products on it and the total amount was nothing. If I refresh it, the total amount is now 98 pound, which equals the same as the opportunity and equals the same as the other product that we created. If I click into it, we can see we've got all the products that we had, uh, that we have on the opportunity. So this is an example of using a bound action. So an action that is specific to a specific entity. So what we've done here is we've said, right, Let's look at the opportunity. Uh, let's, sorry, let's look at the quote. What actions are available for quotes? We only have this one, which is um, which is a, a specific one for a quote to get the opportunity. Uh, we'll run that and we'll uh, we'll pull these products into here. I said you can create your own custom ones. This is a this is a system action called get quote product from opportunity. You can create your own um, your own actions inside here, and you can do stuff like and you can like trigger it to run from in here. So this is another thing that Power Automate can now do. So previously Power Automate couldn't perform actions uh, either bound or unbound. Uh, an update I think about four or five months ago uh, now enables you to perform bound actions. So again, it's bringing that parity between the classic workflows and Power Automate make closer together. So I want to hear from you guys. Do you use perform a bound action at the moment? Uh, if so, what do you use it for? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you didn't know about this, again, is this something you're using in the future? Let me know. If you like this video, if you could like and please share it with your friends, it is very much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.